Uh, good evening. So this morning at 11 a.m., deputies respond to the 6100 block of Hialeah Street in reference to a shooting. Once there, they found a woman uh, who was in her 20s who was shot and succumbed to her injuries. Uh, our homicide res detectives responded to that scene, conducted follow-up, collected evidence, and developed good leads on the suspect in that case this morning. At 4.05, we received 911 calls about another shooting at that location and a shooting nearby. On Hialeah Street, deputies located two men who had been shot uh, in or near a vehicle. They are a News 13 reporter and photographer who were on the scene to cover the homicide from this morning. On Harrington Street, a woman and her nine-year-old girl were also shot inside of a home. It is unclear why the suspect entered that home. Uh, the victims were transported to nearby hospitals, and tragically, uh, one of the News 13 employees has passed. <clears throat> so we have detained uh, the person uh, believed to be responsible for the murder this morning, as well as the shootings this afternoon. He is 19-year-old Keith Melvin Moses. He is being formally charged in the murder uh, from this morning, and we expect additional charges uh, for the shootings of the four people this afternoon. Uh, at 19, he has a lengthy criminal history to include gun charges, aggravated, and aggravated battery and assault uh, with a deadly weapon, burglary, and grand theft charges. So I want to acknowledge what a horrible day this has been for our community and our media partners. Uh, I work closely with all of you and know many of you and know the, uh, the very difficult job that you do and also the very important job that you do for our community and for law enforcement. Uh, no one in our community, uh, not a mother, not a nine-year-old, and certainly not news professionals should become the victim of gun violence in our community. Uh, so at this time, I'm, I'm happy to take questions from you. Sure. So uh, the suspect is not saying uh, much right now. Uh, it is unclear if he knew um, they were news media or not. We're still trying to work all of that out. Um, you know, that vehicle was almost exactly in the same spot as the vehicle was from the homicide this morning. So it's unclear why uh, exactly they were targeted. And you know, certainly we're going to look into that, and, and we will definitely let you know. So uh, still in critical condition, and we'll notify you of um, the outcome soon. Do we know if the shootings were connected? So yeah, yeah, so the shooting this morning, uh, uh, the two shootings of the, the two news reporters, and the shooting of the mother and the nine-year-old child uh, are all connected. Uh, the same suspect, Mr. Moses, is responsible for all those shootings. He's been charged. Um, formally charged in the murder this morning, and we expect charges soon on all of the other victims. Do you know if he was targeting them because they were a news crew? You saw them going on TV talking about a crime he's being accused of. Uh, was this news crew targeting? It, it's hard to know if he was targeting uh, this news crew. Um, again, that will be all part of our investigation. I was out there at the scene. Uh, the vehicle doesn't really look like a news vehicle um, to me. Um, so, but then again, you know, there was a photographer there, so uh, that's possible. But that's all part of our investigation. He um, was an acquaintance of the, the woman this morning, uh, but as far as we know, had no connection to the reporters and no connection um, to the, the mother and a nine-year-old, and we were unknown. We don't know why he entered uh, that home. I, I don't have the information on how many shots were fired at this time. Does it speak to a larger picture of media and safety and violence towards media within the, like, the last few years? You as the sheriff, do you find that extra concerning even investigating the possible? So um, in this area, we have not had any violence against our media partners, uh, but certainly we have seen that around the nation and around the world. So that's something we're definitely going to be taking a look at and, and see if we can put the pieces together and see why this happened. Are there any indications that perhaps the suspect thought he may have been targeting law enforcement? I know sometimes our vehicles look very similar, especially their unmarked Ford. Is uh, any indication that that was the case? 
So again, uh, the, the vehicle didn't look like a typical news vehicle with a lot of markings on it. Um, you know, it's, it's possible that he could have mistaken them for law enforcement. I just don't know at this time. Like I said, uh, there was a ph photographer there and, um, you know, both were in or near the vehicle. So you really don't know what was in the mind uh, of this suspect. And, you know, hopefully at, at some point uh, he'll, he'll talk to us about, you know, what his motives were. Uh, but regardless, you know, he's eventually going to be charged with uh, the murder this morning and then the four shootings uh, this afternoon, definitely murder on uh, the news reporter. Sir, what when this happened, uh, what's, what's the condition of the woman in the mental So right now, critical condition and at the hospital. Uh, when this happened, was there any uh, agent from Orange County investigation to try to recover this? No, so we had cleared the scene. Uh, the prior homicide happened at 11 o'clock in the morning. It happened in a vehicle. You know, that vehicle was towed for processing. Uh, the Texas had already done their canvas of the neighborhood and had cleared the scene and were out actually following leads on this suspect, Moses, because uh, they quickly developed him as a suspect in this case. Sheriff, did you know that he was the suspect you were looking for for the earlier murder before he returned to that area? Yeah, that's unclear at this time. He was um, detained and arrested near that area right after uh, the two shootings. Um, yeah, very good description was given out. Uh, deputies located him uh, in the exact same clothes that he was wearing uh, during the shootings. And um, you know, once they did detain him, homicide detectives who were familiar with him from the previous case said, yeah, that's our, that's our same guy from the earlier homicide. Yeah, I do not know how long the suspect has lived in this area. That's, that's correct. So um, they were both in or near the vehicle, uh, a reporter and a photographer. And un unfortunately, one has passed. What is the condition of the other person? So uh, the, the mother is in, oh, I'm sorry, uh, critical condition. Right. What's the condition of the photographer? Yeah. So there is one um, News 13 media person who has passed from his injuries. The other person is being um, treated at the hospital. I have no idea if there's any kind of situation at the hospital, not to my knowledge. Um, yeah, we, have, we have plenty of deputies in that area. Have there been any reports lately saying that the suspect looked at several news vehicles or several vehicles to shoot himself? I am not aware of any reports that the suspect was looking at any other news vehicles. Any specific activity with looking at any other vehicles? I have not heard that yet, no. So that's unclear. It seems like there were three people in the car. Uh, the suspect shot the victim uh, as they were in that vehicle on Hialeah. Um, so I'm assuming they were acquaintances. We just don't know the exact um, relationship at this point. Sure. Okay, so um, uh, tragically, uh, we have just learned that the nine-year-old has also succumbed to her injuries. Um, you know, we were waiting on next of kin notification, uh, so just wanted to let you know that. So, um, so we have the 20-year-old the uh, female who was shot and killed this morning has died. Uh, we have one of the news media personnel has died, and now the 9-year-old child, child has also passed uh, from the gunshot wounds as well. So again, our, you know, uh, our hearts go out uh, to her mom, who's also uh, fighting for her life and her father and all of her family members and of course uh, you know prayers and condolences uh, to uh, the news media and their their family and friends uh, of these uh, media professionals So we, we're doing our canvas right now. I mean, it was four o'clock, so chances are there were people out and about. Uh, you know, we're doing all the normal things we do during an investigation, uh, you know, looking for uh, doorbell cameras and uh, other cameras in the area. We're reviewing all that footage and certainly uh, tracking down all, all the witnesses that we can. So that, that is unclear right now. So ha how it all worked, of course, we had the, the homicide earlier this morning. At some point around 4 o'clock, he returns to the scene. Um, he goes to the vehicle where the news media people are at. Uh, he shoots uh, both the people from News 13. 
then he goes up to Harrington Street and takes a left, and there's a brown house up there. He walks inside the house and shoots uh, the nine-year-old and the mom. And right now, we're unclear as to why he shot uh, them in that house. And really unclear as to why he shot uh, at the news vehicle as well. No, he wasn't saying anything. We did, uh, when deputies uh, located him and arrested him, he was armed with a handgun, which we believe um, will link him to these cases as well. Yeah, they're in critical condition, correct. How long did it take from the scene? Uh, about a block away from Hialeah. About a block away from the scene on Hialeah. It's all, all very close um, where, where it all happened. Okay, thank you.